did you know I was on vacation? So sweet, so sweet. All right, now we go to a big matchup in town, the defending state champ Jamestown taking on Century. This, the most anticipated match of the night. But Century Trill, 22 to 9 early. But here they start to make a run as Kate Feeney beats the shot clock and makes a three. Century Trill's 22-14. Later, off the miss, Century's Jordan LeBeau muscles up for the board and the putback, Century down 25-16. But Jamestown, Bowden Scumberg is really on another level this year. He gets to the elbow and knocks down the mid-range jumper. Century, I'm sorry, Jamestown top Century, 72-57. And in the girls' game, Century was up 44-25, to and then Jamestown went on a little bit of a run. The Blue Jays used a couple of ball screens, and that leads to a layup. Then a little later, with the shot clock winding down for Jamestown, they nail a three-pointer, and the lead is down to 10, 44-34. But Century responds with a three of their own, and the pass will pull away from that point. Century remains unblemished with a 69-42 win. Let's head over to Bismarck High for the Demons and St. Mary's. This is the boys' game, and this was a low-scoring game for Bismarck. They came into the WDA leading the WDA with 91 points a game as Kate Ross lays the ball in, then later off the steal. Nick Hintz is able to convert the easy two as Bismarck enjoys a 9-4 lead. And now Bismarck plays a two-man game. And on the give-and-go, Kenyon Eagle with the layup. Bismarck puts up 87 in the win over St. Mary's. Let's go to the girls' game. This was a good one. We start in the second half. Bismarck leads 38-30. And Jolly Gold is on the break. She just pulls up from three, and why not? Bismarck goes up 41-30. to 30. After three points from St. Mary's, another three points courtesy of Maddie Miller, and we have a seven-point game. But Bismarck will respond. Haley Wedge takes it right to the basket. Is that Macy Wedge's sister? We'll find out later. Bismarck gets the win 71-65. to 65. Now we go to high school wrestling where there was a duel hosted by St. Mary's. And this match was between Jamestown and Dickinson. We start at 182 pounds. This is the third period. Dickinson's Tanner Jarrett gets the pin, but Dickinson trailed in the match 27 to 22. Now at 195. This is also the third period. Jamestown's Austin Kessler, he scores a pin, and Jamestown retakes the lead by 12 at 220. A tight match between Dickinson's Tyler White and Jamestown's Darren Davis as White takes a takedown. 7-2, he wins. Jamestown picks up the win in this one, 45-25. And St. Mary's with the upset over Dickinson, 37-35. And one final score, St. Mary's started the day with a loss to Jamestown. They fell in that one, 37-50-17. All right, lastly, here we go to Boys High School Swimming. It was a multi-duel at the BSC Aquatic Center. And we'll just go to the scoreboard for this one. It was Minot who defeated both Bismarck and Legacy. Minot won 142-38 over Bismarck and 148-41 over Legacy. Now, let's go to 